The match is over, and the blue team is in the lead. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to tell you tips to improve headshots and hip fire. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Watch the video till the end. Let's begin. So first tip is hand and phone stabilization. I see a lot of players while they are in fight, they shake their screens like this. It is completely wrong and not accurate. Try to avoid this. Instead of this, try to keep your phone stable and focus on your target. It is much more accurate and effective. In second tip, I want to tell you about crosshair placement. Don't keep your crosshair on enemy's feet or either on enemy's body. Instead, you keep your crosshair little bit above the head. But why we should do that? Let me show you why I'm saying like this. When I open the scope, my aim is on enemy's head. When I leave a scope, my aim is on enemy's head and little bit on right side. Try to keep your aim above enemy's head and little bit on right side to have nice headshots. Next tip is about joystick. Joystick is the most important thing and you need to master it to improve your aim and hip fire. I have already made a video about perfect size of joystick and its position. You can check the link in the video card. Now back to the tip. You have to be able to move the way you are thinking. What does it mean? Like if you are thinking to jiggle or dodge left and right, you should have the skill to do that. Like here it is the correct way to dodge left and right or here where I am moving behind the cover or here where I am pushing forward next tip is how to control crosshair while crouching when you crouch don't let your crosshair go up or down with that like this it is completely wrong. Try to keep your crosshair always on enemy's head and while keeping your aim on the head, you start crouching. Practice this daily, it will improve your crosshair placement. In next tip, I would like to tell you the best attachments that I like to use in TDM on the weapon. In muscle place I like to use compensator because it will reduce vertical and horizontal recoil. Next attachment that I use is laser sight because it reduces hip fire spread. It is really good to use laser sight in close range. The next attachment is stock. Stock also reduces the weapon shake it is so important quick mag draw is also important for fast reloading and i use red dot because with red dot i can find my target quickly
Last but not the least, I want to tell you about sensitivity and control. Try to make your own sensitivity and control based on your device and once you are comfortable with that, never change that. By the way here I am sharing my settings as lot of you guys requested me. Here is my control settings. I like to use the first layout in the control settings. I play with five fingers. Here is my control code and you can find this code in the description box below. Here is my sensitivity settings. ADS sensitivity. and gyroscope sensitivity you can find both of the codes in the description box below all right guys this is all for today please like and subscribe and share with your friends and now watch the gameplay 1v1 tdm bye bye everybody enjoy the video The blue team has scored for the first time! Cover me!